Good evening, I'm Kristen Kelly. And I'm Darren Perrin. Outrage in Egypt tonight where demonstrators thought they'd convince President Hosni Mubarak to leave. Waves of protesters entered Cairo's central square this evening, believing rumors that the president was about to announce his departure. But when Mubarak went on state TV, he did not announce an interim government. Instead, he hand, his hand-picked vice president will take on more power and Mubarak will not resign. That sent anger through the crowds and concern through Washington, where fears of a violent coup are growing. Jennifer Redding joins us now with more on that and local reaction from Egyptians living in Vermont. Jennifer. Darren and Kristen, this announcement is not what the Egyptian people wanted to hear. After 30 years in power, they want President Mubarak gone. And that's a feeling that's shared by Egyptians living here in Vermont as well. Saddened what what happened. Mohamed Noir is an Egyptian cardiologist living here in Vermont. He says President Hosni Mubarak's refusal to resign is only going to make tensions rise in Egypt. It's uh, definitely complicating the situation, especially if um, a confrontation takes place between the army and people. This will be uh, a disaster. Immediately following President Mubarak's address, chaos erupted in the streets of Cairo. Protesters are outraged that Mubarak will stay in office. But let him leave. We don't want him. We do not want him. Nor do they want anyone from his regime in power. And that includes Vice President Omar Suleiman, who Mubarak says he will relinquish some of his power to, a transition that Noir says will not work. In order to have a uh, real transformation and uh, reform of uh, policies in Egypt, it cannot happen with the head of the regime still there. He says the country has lost confidence in the regime. Hundreds of thousands have flooded the streets, upset with the country's high unemployment, low wages, and government corruption. The first and only step that re restore this confidence is by Mubarak leaving meaning that the regime is over, the top of the regime is gone, now we can start rebuilding. As more people take to the streets every day in cities throughout Egypt, President Obama says the Egyptian people have America's support. He would like to see an orderly transition to democracy. We are witnessing history unfold. It's a moment of transformation that's taking place because the people of Egypt are calling for change. The best case scenario right now is uh, for Mubarak to step down and leave people to choose and have free elections without any influence from the top of the regime. Now, the Egyptian military has announced that it's making arrangements to safeguard the country. During the 17-day rebellion, relations between the military and the people have been civil. But this announcement has some worry that the military may try to take control of the government. Darren? Jennifer Redding in the newsroom. Thank you, Jennifer.